Hey y'all, welcome to RNL Homestead. Today I am going to talk a little bit about my quail. One of the reasons I have quail are because they are really fast, well I shouldn't say fast growing, but they mature a lot faster than chickens. Chickens start laying eggs around 22 weeks. Quail start laying eggs at six weeks. So if you want eggs quicker and you don't want to wait as long as a chicken, you could do quail because they are a lot um, quicker to mature than a chicken. So these are my quail. I have jumbo pharaohs. Um, the males have a solid chest and the females have the spotted. So let me see if I can show you a female. So that's a male right there. Let's see, that's a female. See how her chest is spotted? The one beside her is a male. See how his is solid and hers had dots all over it. Um, I got these from the No Acre Homestead and they gave me a couple hatching eggs and a couple of them didn't hatch, a couple died. So these were the ones that were left. I have seven females and four males. Um, so I got to slaughter those males. I'm going to slaughter three males. Probably sometimes this sometime this week, but I'll make sure I make a little video on that. Um, they have a little tray, so their poop flows through that wire mesh down into this tray. They got a sandbox, which has not a lot of sand in it, really, just kind of poop. And then one thing I also like is that that water. It feeds down from a little pipe to these water nipples so they can get water. So they have five gallons, which lasts them a pretty long time, especially for just a couple of coil. And then we got the little feeder for their food. Just come over here, lift it up, fill it. I'll knock some of that back down. But now I'll go show you what we open the quail eggs with, the quail scissors. So what you do is you put your quail egg, the tip down, so you know how eggs have a fatter side and then it's kind of a skinnier side. So you want to put that like pointier side down into the hole. And then what you do is you just carefully crack open it and then just like that and you open your scissors up and the quail egg gets cut because quail eggs are a lot harder to crack so like for instance like a chicken egg it's pretty easy to crack but a quail egg it has um I don't remember the right term for it, but it has a thicker coat or whatever you call it on it to make it harder to crack. I think I'm only getting one egg about one egg about every two to three days out of these guys is because there's too many males in here and the males fight a lot and it's putting too much stress on the females well so we'll definitely have to um slaughter those three um but i'll see what i can do for a video for that because i know youtube doesn't really like the whole thing but at least i can kind of show you what sort of what we do to 
slaughter a quail. Um, but other than that, I love my quail. Um, I'm thinking about making them a larger area. Um, just so that way they can fly and stuff like that. Um, but until I can do that, they're just in their little pen. Forgot to really show y'all what it looks like. But that's the pen. Sl the wire slanted down so the eggs will roll out into here. But a lot of times they'll lay in their sandbox. But um, pretty soon, probably this, yeah, probably this spring, I'll do some um, quail incubating. Try to have some more quail. Maybe even get a couple more different breeds of quail. Um, just so I have some more color variety and I think I already said it but I have jumbo pharaohs um look oh he got up because he saw me watch him for a second you may do it nope and the jumbo pharaohs are just a big I shouldn't say bigger but well, I guess kind of. They're a little bit bigger breed of quail. Or of the Caternix, at least. I don't know about like Bob White and all those others. Tennessee Red Quail. Hopefully, soon I'm going to buy me some hatching eggs or something like that. Man, they're scratching all that sand and stuff at me. Look at them. They won't stop. I would like to get some more breeds of quail. Get a little bigger area for them to walk around. Possibly make it mobile. Maybe not. Maybe like a little high tunnel or something with some blueberry bushes and some, I don't know, maybe some other stuff. Just to make it look a little bit better. Maybe put some logs and stuff in there. Make it look like their habitat. Well guys, that's all for this video. I'm probably going to do a longer video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, but until then, y'all have a good one. Make sure you like and subscribe. And God bless.